Now we're ready. Who are you? Are you like Mexican or something? I've been saving to get out of this dump. And you're gonna help me. Jimmy and I, we got a plan. Simple, easy. Like drugs? It's gone. The whole brick. I'm not doing anything criminal. Are you calling me a criminal? Hey, I'm going out on a limb here for you. You in or not? I'm not doing it. Okay, how do you think we're gonna get out of here then? Folding sheets. This is America. You want the rainbow, you gotta put up with the rain. If we're doing this, we have to do it right. We can leave this place. We start over. Where would we go? <laughs> to Bonnie and Bob or something? No one's ever seen me before. You're supposed to be meeting a friend of mine who's staying here. Where is he? Do you know what they want to do with me? It's gonna be okay. Here we come. Yep. Woo! I bet those girls are campus queens. Wow. Cassie, right? You ever thought of cheerleading? Thank you all for coming to this year's cheerleading tryouts. I guess I'm so nervous. You're gonna be great. A little rough around the edges. She'll fit in perfectly. This squad is like a family. <laughs> Welcome to the team. <laughs> the wealthiest alumni will be watching your every move. Don't disappoint me. You know those two guys that were watching us during the game? I can tell he really likes you. He doesn't even know me. Cassie, he could help you. Did you rent out this whole place? I did. For you. Why do you want to date a woman half your age? I like to help the people I care about. I swear, these guys are all the same. Oh, Terry's different. Oh, you're so naive. You think you can pay me off with 25 grand? We make a plan or I call your wife tomorrow. We have a problem. I'll handle her. On the outside, the cheer squad seems happy and perfect, but it is a dark place. I cannot believe I trusted you. I can explain. No. I never wanted your money. This whole situation is wrong. Yanni! I can't believe your cheer coach is behind this. I could go to the police. I just want to make sure that it doesn't happen to any other girls. Keep talking like this and you can kiss your future goodbye. I'm not gonna let some co-ed ruin my life. Let go of me. I will destroy you. Candy Man. The urban legend is, if you say his name five times while looking in the mirror, he appears in the reflection and it kills you. Who would do that? Candyman. 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 Well, we're still alive. <laughs> Let's go. Trina, you broke the door. I feel really connected to this neighborhood. Cabrini Green. It was the projects. I just moved in around the corner. The old candy factory. I'm an artist. You look up a candy man. He's the monster. It's part of this neighborhood. Why are you drawn to this? I'm hoping to spread the story all about Candyman. The mirror invites you to summon him. You should say his name. I dare you. Candyman. 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 Don't. Don't say that. Candyman.
think he made a mistake. I brought him back. Candyman isn't real! Something's happening to me. He had a purpose for you. To be another one of his terrible stories. I guess he found me. I am the writing on the wall. The sweet smell of blood. not become king of speculative. Any man who breaks the head of Robert the Bruce shall receive 50 gold pieces. There is a reward. We'll have it for ourselves. Freedom. I'll show him the meaning of it. Who is he? It's Robert the Bruce. I shall leave here soon. You'll leave when you're well. Healing me is treason in these lands. You're my king, and we'll defend you the best we can. Sir Tyrion Low! We'll find him here! You'd fight our king to the death. There's no king of mine. <laughs> Scotland is clutched in the grip of a mighty hand. And now, we'll set her free. Is that not worth fighting for? What if he marries his army? Tell me that you'll lead us. Tell me, and we will fight again. We need to know our men die for something. Ah! I am Robert the Bruce. It is time we fight. song for y'all tonight. If you told 12-year-old me that one day I'd be working for Grace Davis, she's an icon. This woman doesn't even know your last name. She does. Sometimes. My baby stop. I'm not gonna tell you guys you're great if you're not great. Do it again. Baby, I am the girl still give me goosebumps. Well, Grace, have you thought any more about the Vegas residency? Actually, I think it's time I record a new album. I mean, that's one plan. What am I supposed to say to her? I'm just a personal assistant, but I'd love to produce whoa, your music. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do not sell yourself short. You studied composing, Maggie. <laughs> there hasn't been a new Grace Davis record in a decade, and the fans want one. I'm her manager. Let me do my job, and you do yours, which is get her coffee, Kleenex, Kotex, and whatever else the hell we've been paying you to do for the last six months. I've been here for three years. You get paid? I thought you were an intern. My life is a joke! Ugh! It's really bleak out there for middle-aged singers. In the history of music, only five women over 40 have ever had a number one hit, and only one of them was black. I've been feeling I know everyone is happy with me doing the same show every night. What if there's something more? Grace, you are the song. You should not be buried under all this flashy garbage. I didn't want to tell you or Jack, but I did a cut of your song. Hey, hey, I can hear y'all. Y'all know it's a damn microphone in there, right? All we could do is play it safe and stack some money. I will decide what I do next. Is the food coming, sir? We've been over this. We are not a drive through Well, it should be. It could be. Oh, my God. Is that Grace Davis? No. I heard the old man say, Ooh. John, can I, 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 can
just out of interest, what kind of music were they singing? The Rock and Roll of 1752. I manage bands and I'm interested in representing you. You've got a unique sound and we believe we can help you get it released by a major label. <laughs> I'm serious. Jago said there may be room at the inn. Mum, the toss is at the door. I'm coming! Sorry I'm late. Fishman don't wear green. Anything else? Never say the word rabbit. Rabbit? What well, I don't understand is why anyone would want to part with a hard-earned cash to buy a record sung by ten fishermen. Your songs transport the listener to distant shores. Your wake-up call. Sally reckons he's a proper big shot. Rubber big mouth, more like. No charge for the wake-up call, then. All part of the service. I want to mention it in my TripAdvisor review. If we did agree to let you manage us, you'd have to understand that our real work comes first. I'll give you my word. Okay, chin out, chin down. Which one? <laughs> Hello, Danny. I've got a TV show that are looking for someone to sing the national anthem for the Queen's birthday. I can't believe they're up to a million hits. <laughs> Nobody wants to be the man who missed out on signing the Beatles. More about missing out on life in the meantime. To old friends and new. Remember what the well-known Irish singer said, I may be plain old Paul Hewson from Dublin. Put a pair of shades on. I'm bony old. <laughs> Bono, you pillock. Everything in here was stolen, and they put me in charge of finding out who took it and who sold it to the Nazis. This was just found in Goering's hidden collection. It's a familiar. I'm Captain Joseph Piller of the Allied Provisional Government. During the war, what did you do? Tried to survive, like everybody else. Sold to Reis Marshal Hermann Göring for more than 1.5 million guilders. I need to know where this Vermeer came from. Everyone likes Han. He's the life of the party. What Germans attended his party? I never said they did. You went to one of his parties. I went to a lot of parties, Joe. And you left. Collaboration with the enemy is a capital offense. They're shooting people in the streets. This is your chance at redemption. And yet I am sensing that perhaps it is you who needs redemption. Ministry of Justice, I've heard you snack the big fish. We'll take it from you. Come on. This way. This guy is an honorary Nazi, so let him swing with the rest of them. I am an artist, not a Nazi spy. Did he offer you some money? How much does it cost to buy Joe Pillar? Why do you care so much about this man? He's not the man, really. It's the fact that he's innocent.